Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the Basement Yard. Uh, how's everyone going? Today we have a special guest. We have Trevor Wallace, hey. stand-up comedian, digital comedian, comedian, hey, and uh, yeah. uh, what else can we say? Tall and skinny. Tall and skinny. Tall and skinny. White. There we go. And white. White. Are you? Am I even hearing you right now? Are you hearing me? You okay. know what? I'm going to turn you up. How's that? Bang. Okay. We're way in. Too loud. We're way in. too loud. <laughs> way too loud. <laughs> It was a lot. Was also, a lot. you have a, a podcast. I do a podcast called, called Stiff Socks. There it is, Stiff Socks. Everybody fucks it up. They're like, is it sticky socks? But it, it doesn't. It's all. Well, about I guess you you have to get the sticky socks before you get stiff socks. You can't just. Wow. It's like frogs and toads. You can't have Yo. a toad that isn't a frog, but Damn. you can't have a frog that's not a toad. You onto something with that? Is that true? All well, all all toads are frogs, right? Uh, well, I I think tadpoles. You know, you got to start with the tadpole. You start with the tadpole. What's a tadpoles. newt? That's a different. Uh, those are something animal. that don't exist. What about those, are, those are Pokemon characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. A newt's a real thing. What about salamanders? Those are salamanders. I think bigger newts. Are salamanders always wet? That's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah, are they yeah. so fucking horny, dog? They Relax. Are, they're pretty wet. They <laughs> are pretty always wet. Always wet in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> on a Tuesday at noon, <laughs> just wet it up. Bro. Take it fucking easy. A salamander. Dude. Where'd you get the name Stiff Socks? Are you always jerking off in the socks or something? Yeah, he was jerking me off one day, and uh, you oh, know, Mike, I, Mike, yeah, Mike, yeah. Mike. So, oh, I was gonna say someone else is jerking. Uh, my you co-host, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, no, dude, I don't, I don't know. We were just, it's so funny. We were just riffing names at a coffee shop, and we were like, oh, that's funny. And then, like in the beginning stages of the podcast, we were like, we try to like do something with a podcast where you're like, we're gonna do an event, and then we're gonna talk about that event, and then you realize you're like, hey. People don't want to hear. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you did a thing, and then you have to try to explain it to somebody. It's like yeah. when you have a shitty dream, and you're like, "Oh, then uh, Godzilla was chasing me," and everybody's like, "I don't know what you're talking yeah, about." Yeah, like mm-hmm. halfway through that story, you're like, "No one's gonna get this." Correct. Yeah. So we tried to do that, and then we ended up just realizing the riffing part in the beginning was the most fun. Yeah. And then we're like, "Oh, let's just do just riffing," and then the riffing got really sexual, mm-hmm. and now the name makes sense. In the beginning, it didn't. You can't be like going to Sea World stiff sucks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck Shamu, you. Freak. <laughs> so. I've actually never been to SeaWorld in my life. I, mean, I don't think I think if you go now, you like are going to be destroyed by Twitter. Does yeah. it still or, exist? Or are they like, it, yo, no, chill. it's out there. It's oh, out it's, there. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're out there and they're still killing They're just people. ignoring cancel culture. They're yeah. like, try to take down Shamu. It's like, yo, we're still going to beat up these fish. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Joe Rogan, Tim Dillon, ignore cancel culture and SeaWorld. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> SeaWorld, <laughs> they're actually leaning into it, dude. They had an Antifa meeting there the other week. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, we're hitting the, the whales harder, actually. Yeah. Now, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. I mean, it's uh, that and somehow Legoland still exists, which what do they do at Legoland? Legos. Oh, I was just Legos. <laughs> we, we we looked into bringing Miles to Lego Land. What is Lego Land? It's like it's it's like, like a Hershey poor person Park. Disney World, Disneyland. Hey man, uh, do you like Lego Land? I've never been, but now oh, I can't go. <laughs> I've never been either. I don't want the people. <laughs> I, I can't afford it. Are you kidding me? They got drinks no, made out of like, cinder blocks. It's like it's it's like Disney, but like everything is Legos. So like the roller coaster will be like a Lego. I feel like that's car. how they pitched it. They're like, so we want to open a new theme park, and they're like, all right, Craig, we'll hear you out. And he's like, you like Disneyland? They're like, yeah. They're like you like Legos? And the guy's like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you about to say what I think you're about to say? Yeah. It's like Hershey Park. It's like it's like Disney World, but chocolate. Is that a real thing? I've actually never been there either. Hershey Park? I haven't been anywhere, dude. I've been to Disney World. But I haven't, like, you know. Florida one or the California uh, one? Florida one. Okay. Well, Disney. World is Florida. World is Florida. Land is is Mm. LA. Florida, yeah, that makes sense. It's just his own world over there. That makes sense, yeah. It is, it is, it is. A A lot of weird homeless stories from uh, Florida. Wait, homeless stories? Yeah. For you? No. Oh, just we're, like, you just know, in, in the wind, the grapevine, you hear like a lot of things. Like Danny had a lot of run-ins. Yeah, with, I remember that. Trying yeah. to chase him down, you know, out of a 7-Eleven or something like that. But what are you going to do? Anyway, so, <laughs> so Stiff Socks. Hey, Stiff Socks, huh? I had a question about yes, it because, sir. you know, the, the obviously the name, we're talking about come, folks. Yes. Uh, for anyone that's not up to speed, we're talking about coming in socks. And for some reason, that's like a thing that people do, apparently. Yeah. What's funny is they just assume we don't. But I mean, I think everyone knows oh, do. what stiff right. socks right, are. Right, right. But like, have you ever come across one in the wild? An actual just stiff like socks? a stiff sock full nah. of cum? No, where are you? No, I don't have a thirteen-year-old like, brother. Yeah, I feel like it's a very like you're in like middle school and you're like, I don't know where to hide all this cum. And it's, then you just I've find seen the a stiff sock, sock in all person, yeah. and it's like, it's really like glass. It's kind of crazy how it happened. Like, if you it was found like, one in person, yeah, I found one in person. Question: 
Go ahead. Was this your sock? No. You just found it? Yeah. Where? Wait. My brother's room. Oh, okay. Sorry, oh, Nick. So we know whose sock it was. You're making it seem <laughs> yeah. like you were like walking down you're the whole yeah, But like also when I when yeah. I worked when I worked in college, I we found like one kid had like a jerk off like fucking station. A whole station set up. Like yeah. under his bed was just cum fucking towels and shit like that. It was disgusting. Or legendary, the way you look at it, you know, he just leaned into it. If he if he becomes like a famous person or someone to know, then he yeah. like kind of auction those off, and then you would you would say that. He's oh, I'm a pretty visionary. sure like Biohazard went in and just nuked the room. Like, yeah, they that completely is completely destroy it. That is very. Why weird. does that happen with common? I want like. Do we know anyone know the sign? I mean, we're all scientists here. Oh yeah. So <laughs> I feel like we should know why it gets so goddamn hard. I think it's like. I think it's like string cheese, you know, like the canned cheese, cheese whiz. You know, like once the elements hit it, like inside, it's good. It's creamy. It's living the dream. Yeah. I didn't know you could degrade cum. You're like, what's worse than cum? <laughs> whiz cheese. <laughs> hey, man, I've seen a goofy movie. You can't degrade cheese whiz. That sounds pretty good right now, honestly. Uh, but like it hits the elements and then it's just like. Yeah, it is true. You know, I've never come in a sock in my entire life. Yeah, no, it's not. A, it's, it's not great. It's, I mean, I've used like a shirt good. to like. You know, it's it so it big, dude. But I've never like come on like the same thing like a hundred times, and then it's just like a board, like a yeah. sheet of ice. Or yeah, whatever. I don't. I think it's. I don't understand the whole jerking off with the sock thing. I don't. I don't understand I, the logistics yeah. behind I, it. Yeah, I never got that. I also never got the sock on the door. You're like, hey, I'm having sex. It's like, oh, that's what you guys were doing in there. I thought you guys were playing parcheesi and yeah. <laughs> playing giant Jenga or like a cowboy hat on the door. Cowboy, I respect. I yeah. respect. I mean, that. the cowboy hat would be cool. What would you guys put on your door right now if you're like, if you had to let me know you're rubbing? One out. Bolo tie. Bolo tie. <laughs> Honestly, I, I love know. it. I just like shove a banana on the end of it. There you go. Because <laughs> I have like long ones. I don't have like a knob. Oh, oh right, there right, we right. go. Joey talking about his long doorknobs. Right. Sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a reoccurring <laughs> a theme. A more I heard. long <laughs> yeah. than anything. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, an yeah. average doorknob. You know, gets the job done. Opens yeah. the door. Closes it. There you go. I don't need to worry too much about the size. <laughs> Jesus. Honestly, the longest doorknobs I've ever seen in my life. So, congratulations. I mean, they're not that long. I mean, it, that's a that's a long doorknob, dude. Oh, that's grip and a half. There's some poking out. Yeah. You can even two hand that doorknob if you uh, need to. I mean, it depends how how small your hands are, I guess. How long have you been doing stiff socks for? Like? Uh, a little over two years. Oh, all yeah. right. It's been fun. Yeah. You know, I, I meant not the podcast. I mean like jerking Oh, coming in socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. Two years. Two years. Yeah. <laughs> the day I started a podcast, I was like, I think I have to jerk off now. So you've never seen a stiff sock in real life? You've never like found one? Uh, no. Joey? Why do you make it seem like this is something that it would happen to people? I think it's like enough people know about it. Like I guarantee we're, we're going to start to get messages about people like, oh my God, I found like I, a stiff, you know, like fucking like slipper and like just like tight. wild shit that people were just like coming just into. stiff Gucci slide. Yeah. That would be cool. No, it would not. Why not? Wait, how did you know the thing was so stiff when you found it? Did you pick it up? It was flat and it stayed flat when I moved the bed because it was, oh, it was no. in between the... I already said who it was. Whatever. Yeah. It was in yeah, dox him. Where does he live now? <laughs> it was in between do? their bed and the wall, uh -huh. and I moved the bed, and it just like, like fell oh, down. No. If it, if a sock makes a noise, it's a cum sock. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Unless it's a rolled up like Nike tube sock that you throw at the wall. Yeah. Any noise is terrifying. Man, this thing was sharp. This was your roommate? No, it was my brother. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Ooh. Damn, dude. Hey. Maybe they were tandem. They're twins. They well, are. They're are you I'm not a twin. No. Oh, My younger they, brothers are twins. Oh, yeah, there yeah. Oh, yeah, I left that part out. That was yeah. <laughs> so, like, if you're a twin and you're jerking off, does the other one know? He's jerking you off, actually. Oh, <laughs> That's how it works. Telepathically. <laughs> Telepathically. <laughs> that is weird. Wait, there was a... Um, these aren't twins, I don't think. I don't know. But what is it? Well, they're twins. Siamese, when they're connected? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Is that accepted? Or is there a new word? Because I I don't, don't, I'm not oh, up to date oh, on the Siamese. Oh. Yeah, like, I think it's joint people. You made that up. I did. Um, I, I don't hate it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's okay. But I there was a a Siamese twins, Siamedic, a Siamedic being. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, that um, one of them was dating somebody. Whoa. And then a, a picture actually came out of one of them blowing the oh, boyfriend. Whoa. Yeah. Is there Siamese twin porn? What do you put on the door for that? Yeah. Dude, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> You have to like make some sort of barrier. Oh, a wishbone, dude. Like what, what we used to do in college, we all in our frat, we had uh, we put curtains over our bed when we were like trying to bang. So like the other person didn't see it. I wonder if the Siamese twin like you put like a you curtain. have to Wait, put like, like some sort of plexiglass. You guys have like a like, like a you know, hospital bed. Uh, <laughs> 
you're really upselling this now. <laughs> but we would go to Target and like, you know, the windows that are like maybe a half size window, like maybe like a kitchen, like like lengthwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so we would just buy those and we'd wrap our bunk bed with them. And then we put bungee cord. This is all every girl wanted to sleep with us. Oh my God. She's like, whoa, HGTV? No, let's yeah. sleep with Trevor Wallace. All yeah. right. Yeah. And Brock Lesnar's stepson. <laughs> So it was just like a bunk bed with bungee cords and then we'd string it up and then like, like you'd be like, oh, why don't you step into my fortress? <laughs> Dude, this is like man innovative. This is like what they do in prison, I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's exactly, we're gonna, we're exactly gonna, what they do in prison. We're going to gloss over the fact that you just said Brock Lesnar's stepson. Uh, <laughs> and uh, But yeah, 100%. Like frat houses or like college dorms yeah. there's no sense of boundaries no, but and it's like I'll bring someone home and be like dude don't open your eyes I'm fucking them right now or don't also roll over. open your eyes you yeah. gotta see this this chick's hot yeah just like watching when they're fucking ever, sleeping yeah you ever seen Britney from Delta Gamma well it's not her but it's her homie <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what it was. And like girls, like when they come back, they'd be like, oh, okay, bunk bed. Then you like close the little curtain. She's like, oh, Mr. Dude, Wallace. Did you have some like lights in there or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was not good. Dude. Men in college, we set the bar so low that girls are just impressed by the dumbest shit. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh my God, you have fucking like Christmas lights around yeah. your bed post? Oh, oh my God, is that a Kenny your, Chesney poster next like, to your bed? <laughs> Oh I God, never thought I'd come so quick. I've never seen that Pulp Fiction poster. And then like a shitty like fan that just blows right at your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's this big. And yeah. it absolutely doesn't make any fun. It makes all the sound, none of the, the wind. Yeah, I, I remember I visited one of my friends at college and in his kitchen was literally a hole in the floor <laughs> that you could see into the basement. Oh, yeah. I love it. And, I, and it wasn't a small hole and it wasn't like in a corner. It was like just if like, you weren't looking, you could fall in it or you'd trip in it? You would, your leg would be in the basement. <laughs> so like you, you would literally. The dog every day is like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Was it a frat house? Because the frat yes. house I've been uh, to. No, it wasn't. It, yeah. Frat houses I've been to in my life are the most disgusting places in the fucking yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. It'll be like, yo, this is where we make our dinner, and this is where fucking Pledge Boy Steve Dude, shat his pants. I walked in on multiple of my friends having sex in our kitchen. I was like, out of all the places. A kitchen? Yeah, a kitchen, yeah. Uh, I mean, that makes sense if it's not a conjoined house. But, but, like, you think of, like, a kitchen, like the kitchen you got out there. This was, like, a cafeteria that's been out of business for seven years. Gotcha. Like, like, the, like the, the silver trays and, like, the windows that you look at to scoop your food. Mm. It was a big <laughs> frat house, but nobody used, the, like, nobody, like, actually worked out of the kitchen. So it was okay. just disgusting. Nice. There's just, like, empty, like, egg white containers next to somebody uh. can plow <laughs> Oh God, that's fucking terrible. Disgusting. I'm Absolutely. picturing what the what the kitchen looks like on the Titanic right now. Mm -hmm. Like if you dove down, basically, there. yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Just think Any about a guy with a faux hawk having sex next to it. <laughs> exactly, just wearing a backwards hat yeah. and just fucking Sperry's and cargo shorts at his ankle. Definitely yeah. snapbacks. They had they had a huge run there. Snapbacks. Snapbacks were big. They did. There was literally a song that was called Snapbacks and Tattoos. Did you hear? Who snapbacks was that? Was Khalifa? Wasn't was it? it? No. I, I thought it was like Tyga. I think it was a or one. Kid Ink or something. One of those like. I'll, I'll tell you what it was. It was a legend. I'll tell you. That. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Snapbacks, snapbacks and tattoos. It might have been Tyga. Uh, it sounds like a Tiger song. I think I actually... Dricky Graham? Okay. Who? <laughs> you don't know? Yeah. <laughs> Dricky Graham? Dricky... With I, one eye? I, two eyes. I can tell eyes. by his hands who Snap that is. and tattoos. Well, he definitely has tattoos. So I don't Dude. know about the snap -back. Great inspiration, though. He looked in a mirror one day and he's like, I'm onto something with this. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have? What does yeah, everyone have? The snapbacks and tattoos. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the snapbacks were... I remember I had a snapback Santa hat and I thought it was the coolest kid in college. Oh, Dude. Those uh, are pretty tight, though. Guess what? I also definitely one. was not. I also oh, had one of what those, the fuck? though. How do you feel about the beanies that have snapbacks on? Have you seen those? Wait, what? Snapbacks? I've seen the There's ones with beanies. the brims. Like, no, no, no. I'm talking like it. Look, it's very Williamsburg. It's just a beanie, like with the cut, like folded, and then in the back's got a snapback. Oh, that sucks. You guys haven't seen that? No. That really sucks. Right, well, I'll pull it up for you. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to make your Why Tuesday that much worse. Why would they do that? I tend to stay away from Brooklyn as much as possible. Why? There's too many like forward like. It's like Philly. One block is like the nicest place in the world. Okay, so the next check these block, out. you're going to get shot. Check these out. So it's like it looks like a beanie in the front, and then on the back, it's just got a snapback. And every time you wear it, you have more sex, apparently. <laughs> I don't wow, know about that's that. Crazy. That one looks like just like a fitted with no brim. It does. No brim, yeah. That it's is... essentially like what it kind of is. Yeah. We yeah. need to bring back those Jay-Z hats from like 2006. Remember he had the, it was like the scully with the brim. Scully with the no, brim. bro. That's the one I'm talking. Like skateboarders and shit would wear that. No, 
I don't know. I, I think I think it was like a big Jay Z thing. Jay Z was rocking them. Everybody was. Dipset, get your lips wet. Dipset. There you go. How about Ti's hat on the side of his face, dude? Can't figure still it out. don't know how that happened. Like, you can't do anything. Like if somebody's like you're like jogging for an elevator door, you can't. It's just gonna fall. Yeah, off. he's just like <laughs> you have to walk at one speed your entire life. <laughs> Him in a marathon would just be so funny. It's the side of his head. So he was the first guy to finish it with the hat staying on his head. Yeah. It was barely on his head. I, I got to be honest. I've tried to do that. I think everybody so did. So hard. You got to have the freshest buzz cut with those little Velcro. -y. I don't think it's the buzz cut. I think he's got something under there that's like kind oh, of tricking him. You think he's juicing? I think he's got, yeah, I think he's juicing a little bit. I think he's got like a something in there that just yeah. kind of like props it up against the side of his head and just. What that, what, dude, what if he revealed he had a mohawk under this whole, oh. yeah, this whole time? I mean, it could happen. Tight. It could have. Oh, we don't like Ti right now, right? Didn't he like do like like weird sex slave stuff? Oh yeah, uh, him and his wife. They were like, uh, they were like, I don't know, because they, they were like fucking. They were like, I don't know, dude. It was like this whole thing. I'm gonna get it wrong, but it's okay because yeah, it doesn't matter. Good. We don't. We we know, but we don't. He's not watching. Um, but he, <laughs> him and his wife were like banging people in a hotel, and then the, okay. the wife was like sending people in. Like it was like a really. Wow. Crazy thing. Anything that starts like, with yeah. banging multiple people in a hotel is not going to be great. And also, your wife's like facilitating. You know, she's yeah. like the the, the hostess. Is, is it Tiny? The girl named her name is Tiny. Yeah, T Tiny. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because she is. Fun. I was going to say Peachy, but I guess I'm I'm wrong yeah. on that one. Well, it could be like when people have big dogs and they're like, "This is Scruffy," or "This is what do they say?" Yeah, like yeah. Shrimpy or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No one calls their dogs. How do you know there's no dogs named Shrimpy? <laughs> Shrimpy? I think so. No, I know. When you have like a really tall, fat friend, you call him tiny, and it's like, eh. yeah. But yeah. she's actually a small, you know, person. tiny. Well, not, I don't think, not a little person. I don't think T. I don't think Ti is that big either. Like Ti is like five four. Is he? He might. He's not no listening. Idea. So let's just say he is. I don't know, dude. I know the I hat know. makes him like six foot, even though it's gotta be. Yeah, dude. He's just, he needs a, the Pharrell hat. So anyways. Oh, that hat. When that first came out, yeah, bro, celebrities and hats. There's a lot what of stuff, shit going on. Yeah, I know. It's like whenever like like a trend starts to like die off, like everyone starts wearing something. For us, just like we gotta go bigger. Yeah, yeah. So we gotta make. We gotta <laughs> this is getting a little too normal. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, well, now celebrities are like putting their blood in everything and selling it. Oh yeah, who did you that guys, recently? So Tony Lil Nas X did it. Who did? Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk. And then Tony Hawk, the trend. Dude, but at age like fifty two, like save your blood, my man. Like that's. Yeah. And he, yeah, he's not looking so good. <laughs> yeah. If well, you've seen him, he, he looks, looks for a fifty two year old. Dude. He looks solid, but also at fifty two, like give, give me my blood. I'm not an organ donor. <laughs> give me my type B. I feel like you need all the blood you. Can get right. at that point. You know right. He's mean? probably lost a couple like, ounces. Also, too. coming out of a pandemic, you're like, "Hey, man, you want my blood?" <laughs> well, at this yeah. point, it's just like, and, and like people are like seriously, like he, like Ti, yeah. not Ti, Tony Hawk, like put his blood on like skateboards. That's so weird. just like sign my tech deck and call it a day. You yeah, know, I don't need Little all that birdhouse tech deck, dude. Yeah, <sighs> just remake American Wasteland and we're fine. That's a great game. So you guys aren't getting blood away in your guys' merch is what I'm hearing. Well, I'm not like against it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing blood and merch. Dude, there was a video also. I don't know if you saw it, but it was kind of like I didn't know you. I mean, I guess you could. Like I'm not the biggest fan of blood. Like I'm not going to like one of those people who see blood and like pass yeah, out. Yeah, Joey's right. way more of a sweatshop type of guy. Yeah, what yeah, a, yeah. Mm, yeah. I like, <laughs> I like to not see how the sausage is made and just ignore everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know? Um, but anyway, there is, uh, the video I saw of Tony Hawk, he like literally – on camera had someone put an IV in his arm and then they wow. took the vial and put it in the paint like the blood and you were like I didn't need to it's see very it. weird because yeah, if like, like an 8th grader did this you're like oh this guy's about to shoot this shit up right? yeah, like he's, yeah. It's but it's like, Tony Hawk he shreds the gnar and we all love him he's great dude he does shred the gnar that's it yo he had a 900 like two years ago yeah, I don't think you need to be young to be a good skateboarder. I think you just need to know how to skateboard to be one. Bro, you got to be like limber. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking I know, about? Like, I've been on board be... for a lot of things today. <laughs> and that one, I'm like, I'm 28 and I, I see a Razor scooter and I'm like, not today. <laughs> no, Bro, like, if Razor scooter hits my ankle today, I'm out for like a saying. week and a half. Yeah. Uh, I'll be very excited if Razor scooters limber. come back. Because you got to like, that's a lot of twist at once. Hell yeah. I mean, it's because never been on a board before. <laughs> First of never all, uh, we spoke about this. I had a C-3PO skateboard when I was younger. And oh, there I you go. had all the experience I needed. But, like, I feel like once you're good, if you're consistently skateboarding, yeah. you'll stay limber enough. Like, for instance, knees. Like, knees aren't a big thing in jumping on a, uh, you know, performing an ollie Frankie, on a skateboard. <laughs> literally, knees are, like, 
what you need f- to jump. <laughs> but like you don't <laughs> jump. It's more like fucking like you just boom boom. Like it's it's physics more than it's like being we like athletic. Tony Hawk, get in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In here. We actually have Tony Hawk. I feel in like here knees are like the, the like the stalk of like a sunflower. It's like that's the part yeah, that's, that grows it. I guess if, so. I think any other if you would have said any other body part, I'd be like okay. But like if Bam yeah. Margera can still skateboard, then anyone well, can. Well, still skateboard. I don't think he's skateboarding. He's right doing now. it, but he's just like on a lot of ketamine. He's like, I'll get through this. Right yeah, now. I think. Yeah. Shout out Bam, my favorite. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he's just like he's n- he's numb. So yeah, there you go. I, yeah, I mean, if you're like you don't need thumbs for 900, I'd be like, I can see that. Yeah, that and you know you don't. But then you got to hold the board like that's this. That's true. That's weird. That would be tough. I think you need a lot of body parts. I don't honest. think the 900. Oh no, yeah, you need. Dude, the 900 is hard. How many is that? 360 plus 360. Oh shit. Is 360 that? plus 720 plus 180. So that's two. And <laughs> wait, what the fuck? That's, I, wait, dude, you're like I, over a thousand. You're like, yeah, it's like 1400. <laughs> no, it's not. You said 720 plus 360. No, I said 360 uh-huh. plus 360, oh, which is 720, 720 plus oh, 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 a half. Oh, oh, oh. I thought, oh, I thought you were starting so with 720. Two, so it's two and a half. <laughs> you're just smarter than Joe and I. It was quick math. Yeah, yeah. that was, yo, honestly, I no can't surprise. add at all. So wait, one more time. 360, 360. So 360. Boom. Yeah. Full circle. 360. Uh-huh. Boom. That's 720. So two and a half spins. Yeah. Two and a half. That's so what I you're said. landing backwards. I guess. Nice. No. You're landing well, go- goofy. You they call full, it goofy. Full. Three. Goofy? Yeah. Or silly. Three sixty. <laughs> Three sixty. <laughs> so, yeah. So I guess it's. Wow. A, I guess he's landing backwards, but then he just does yeah, one of those. Yeah, you just you know? turn. No, you land like it's called like goofy. Dude, that was a moment in time though when he hit the first nine hundred. That was a that was a big deal. Oh, I never saw. It was it. a big. I day. used to love the fucking X Games, dude. Like oh, I would yeah. watch it and be like, "Yo, this is what I want to do with my life." That was just a bro Super Bowl. I was They'd also just chug like, Mountain Dew and watch the X Games. Yeah, dude. Oh I was never a big X Games boy. Really? Oh yeah. my god, I was so I loved it because it was just intense sports right away. There's no bobsledding. There's no javelin. It's like this guy's gonna do a fucking backflip yeah. in his grandma's wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, exactly. There's so many like fu- like people like getting hurt and like snapping their necks. I was like, yeah. this is awesome. Dude. Also, like, the name like X Games. You're like, yeah, the letter X never gets used. Let's fucking go, baby. Yeah, the letter X is always like if there's X on anything, X on chances mode are I will watch guys. it. X Games though before that realization happens. I just love watching guys just like attempt a backflip and then just blow their teeth out of their mouth and look in the camera and just like. Like, damn, what's for you, Debbie? Yeah, it's like these dudes are fucking killing. No, I don't it's know. intense. Well, people are doing that right now with this fucking crate challenge. People are bashing their <sighs> yeah. ankles, I mean, I'll, ribs. I arms. haven't had that much fun watching videos in a while. Just scrolling through like Twitter Dude. or something, and it's wow. There's nothing better than people just falling. And and yeah, Getting that's hurt. just the internet. The internet's like this is good. Keep I it coming. This is great. I can watch people. Rhythm. I can two things, and I've done this multiple times, and this is not a joke. I have looked up when I'm just like in like a okay mood, like yo, I need to pick me up. Mm-hmm. I don't go to like energy drinks. I go to fucking YouTube and I type in people fainting there you on go. live TV. That's dark. No, hilarious. Dude. <laughs> oh, Wendy Williams when she oh, was, I was gonna say that one. That one. That yo, one, bro. One of the funniest things I've ever seen. How did they life. also not be like, hey guys, cut the cameras, don't air this segment? No, that's live TV. <laughs> Wendy's like, we need it. the views. Yeah, Run you it need up. to keep it Run up. up. Put a meme behind <laughs> it. Add some music to it. If I will say, if I'm in a faint, I want it to be like that, where it looks like I just saw a fucking ghost. Where I'm just like, dude, yes. Like, so yeah. many people on the news are just sitting there, and all of a sudden they're just like, <laughs> everyone has like the realization in their eyes, like, well, yeah. I'm going, I'm going oh, fucking down. Right we're going now. down, yeah. yeah. And they're just like, and the co host is like, that's crazy. So the Seahawks today. <laughs> <laughs> just like, move forward, move forward. The guy in the ear is like, just ignore it. No, these people doing the crate challenge are falling from like, 10 feet pretty deep. high way too dude if i was like to set that up like also, before this was a thing i would never go that high. also yeah. on the ground it's like hey guys let's do it over a ceiling or a surda. that's what i said i'm like i'm watching people do it and they're like doing it over like concrete n- not even yeah. just concrete but like what grass but like dirt you right. know what i mean like not enough grass so that, not like, only do you eat shit but you have to have dirt all of your clothes now yeah. and then the way people are falling is they're like going onto their side and getting just jabbed in the, the sides crate. did you see the one where the guy jumped into the crates when he's on top like that was on the top shelf and then he <laughs> pushed it i haven't laughed that hard in a while it was Bro. it was one of those laughs where i was at an airport by myself and i wanted to tap a stranger and be like you gotta yeah. watch this <laughs> You gotta see this. Someone's gotta watch. It's like texting people I haven't talked to in four years. Watch this. <laughs> so you said there's two things you watched. The first one was fainting. Was fainting, the and then the other one is um, people like walking into glass doors mm. and shit. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Because there's some ever, people. You ever that done that? Eat. Yeah, dude. It's not cool. It's not fun. No. But it's cool if you're watching it. No. Like I've seen someone walk into like a, a supermarket, like the. They thought they were going to the right door, but they weren't. And they hit this door, and the, and the glass shatters. Oh, I'm like, oh, my that's God. the one that gets me because <laughs> I've walked walk. and hit a glass door before, going pretty fast, and it didn't break. How fucking fast do you have to go you to shatter be, the you whole thing? Be you gotta have a lot of purpose. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. I would almost be proud of myself. <laughs> it's, it's like when somebody breaks a backboard in the NBA, you're like, that's a good dunk. I'm like, that's a good walk. <laughs> I, was, I was walking. <laughs> look at it, yeah, look at employment. Clean that shit up. Where's the papayas? <laughs> Before we move on, we do have some sponsors on today's show, so let's get to them. The first one being Honey. If you don't have Honey, you're missing out on money. That rhymes. Uh, Honey is a free online browser extension that you just kind of plug in, you download. It just takes a few seconds, and it's free, by the way, with our uh, our custom URL. And uh, it just saves you money online. And it, it, it like goes and search for coupons. Uh, it searches for coupons. It searches for promo codes or whatever. And um, you know you just save money without even really realizing. Um, so it's great. So you don't have to be on the up and up on what promo codes or coupons or whatever whatever sales are out there. Uh, you just let this do its work and it's free. And it uh, supports over 30,000 online stores that range from anything from like tech and gaming products to fashion brands and even food delivery. Um, so yeah, you should definitely uh, download Honey. It's amazing. They have 17 million members and they've saved them over $2 billion. Okay, so... Uh, like I said, it's free. Installs in just a few seconds. You can go. You can get it at joinhoney.com/basement. That is joinhoney.com/basement. Just do it. You know what I mean? Holidays are coming up, not too far away. You could save some money. Uh, you know, shopping with Honey. So go check them out. Joinhoney.com/basement. Next up, we have Quip, the electric toothbrush. Everyone knows it's my favorite toothbrush. All right, I got the black one. I got the all blacked out set. It's amazing. Uh, they have everything. They have gum. They have floss. They have uh, toothpaste. They have the toothbrush, which is amazing. The toothbrush is like it's it's electronic, but it doesn't like it doesn't like shake everywhere. You know, some toothbrushes are like shaking everywhere, and like the toothpaste is getting everywhere. This has a good shake to it, or a, whatever it's called. What is that called? Like a buzz. It's got a good buzz, I guess. Um, but it's really good. Um, and uh, it's my favorite toothbrush I've ever used, and uh, I actually bought a brand new one not too long ago. Um, but they're great. Uh, they also have a mouthwash. Uh, it's good for your mouth and the planet with a four times concentrated formula. Uh, it ships less water. Quip ships less water and more good for you ingredients. Um, each uh, uh, eco-friendly uh, refill places a big bulky 470 milliliter bottle from one of those other brands once diluted in Quip's. <laughs> refill bottles are made from 100% recyclable plastic. Okay, so we're saving the earth here, folks with this, all right? They got a package for everything, and the best part about it is for a small fee, every three months you will get new brush heads or you know a refill on this doctor-recommended gum uh, or for the floss, it's, it's amazing. Uh, along with the mouthwash, um, like I said, you get the brush head, floss, toothpaste every three months. Um, shipping is free, um, it's great. So uh, yeah, go check them out at getquip.com slash basement five right now. You'll get $5 off a mouthwash starter kit. That is $5 off a mouthwash starter kit, which includes a refillable dispenser and a 90-day dose of supply of Quip's four times concentrated formula at getquip.com slash basement5. That is G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash basement5. All right, so go to Quip, change your whole bathroom routine with them. They're great. I, I, I will live and die by Quip in the bathroom there. Um, next here we have Simply Safe. Simply Safe is keeping a lot of homes safe in a simple form, okay? Frank's got a brand new house. He's got Simply Safe. All right. Uh, they were awarded best home security system of 2021. Okay. And it just got better. Uh, it has an ultra wide 140 degree uh, field of view. So you can keep watch of your entire yard. It has 1080p HD resolution with an eight times zoom, uh, which is amazing. Uh, built in spotlight with color night vision. Um, it's a great security system and it's very easy to set up. Um, and, and, you know, obviously, if you have a, a nice home, you don't have, you need a security system in this day and age. All right. So, uh, to learn more about the exciting new Simply Safe wireless outdoor security camera, visit simplysafe.com slash basement. Um, that is simplysafe.com slash basement. Um, and uh, Simply Safe is celebrating this new camera by offering 20% off of your entire new system and your first month of monitoring service free uh, when you enroll in interactive monitoring. Okay, that again, that is simplysafe.com slash basement to get this new uh, camera that is amazing. Uh, like easy to remove, rechargeable battery, like the whole bit. Uh, again, uh, you get 20% off your entire new system and your first month of monitoring service free when you enroll in interactive monitoring. All right, so that's a good deal, folks. Uh, and lastly, here we have HelloFresh, which is uh, a great, a great company. Uh, HelloFresh. Um, basically, you get pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door, so you can go on the site and pick out what you like. Or tell them what you want. There's a, a bunch of different like plans or you know different types of 
uh, things like all their stuff is organic, but I mean like you could be like, okay, I want a low calorie or I want, you know, vegetarian or something like that. You can go on their site and pick these things. Um, the fall harvest is officially on, by the way, with HelloFresh. Uh, you can count on seasonal recipes like pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Whoa, that sounds amazing. And uh, fr uh, friends giving ready sides as well as fresh high quality ingredients that travel from the farm to your front door in less than a week. Uh, it's over 30% cheaper than uh, shopping at the grocery stores. And uh, it's like probably 80%. I don't know the number, but it's probably like 80% cheaper than going to a restaurant. Um, so yeah, this is a great way though to get into cooking. You find, you get these little recipes and you get to keep them. Um, and then you can just make them after you make them um, when they give you the pre-portion stuff. So definitely check out HelloFresh. It's really awesome. Like I said, it's affordable and it's food to your front door. You don't have to do all the shopping, get all the little things. They send it right to you, pre portion You're using all of it, all right? So nothing goes to waste. Um, go to HelloFresh.com slash Basement14 and use the code Basement14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping, okay? So uh, use the code Basement14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping at HelloFresh.com slash Basement14. All right, folks? I hate to admit this. I like watching, like, fight videos. Uh, but go. like what? the ones where they'll be in like a like a friggin like hot dog like papaya like what are those places called in Manhattan like hot the... dog and papayas? <laughs> yeah, there's like a hot dog spot that's called something papaya or something, and it's like mm. people just like grabbing each other and shoving, and then they put someone through like a plate glass window. Oh yeah, and like those are pretty like I that. I've seen this. The Big fight country. plus the glass windows that gets it going. Oh my god, the World Star ones where it just World be like a knockout great. fucking compilation. I'm yeah. like, yo, this is scary, but my I'm shit. I'm like, yeah, it's just 12 adrenaline. hours of people getting their ass beat. <laughs> World Star's like this is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, I hate oh, to yeah. admit, I definitely follow like three Twitter accounts that are just like fights, yeah. just like knockout compilations and fights, and they bring me in a lot of joy. I watch some, I, I follow some account on Twitter that's like, it's, the name is like something freakouts or something, but they always retweet a page that's just called Girls Getting Hurt. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't have the heart to follow this page, <laughs> but, I'll, I'll watch. but I'll check it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's just like, that's who how the I, fuck came up with that idea? I don't know, but that I love that the, the name of the account is just very on brand. Yeah, it lets you know what it is. They're not, they're not There's like, no puppy trying to videos hide it. on there. Yeah. It's not like girl fights, it's girls getting hurt. Girls getting yeah. hurt. So, yo, speaking of like fights and girls getting hurt, you remember that one girl who like threw a fucking shovel at that girl? That was a meme yes. for a while. Iconic. That was the, that was a Vine thing for a while. Was that a... Was it? Was that the Sharkeisha one? No, no, no. Was, whoa, that was the Severn one, right? No, that was. That, that no, one became a Shark sound It wasn't Sharkeisha. This one was just like these two like hick that. ass looking white people. Yeah. And one of them was like hit one of them and mm -hmm. then like was running away. And just yeah. launched and a shovel. Just launched a shovel and cracked her. Dude, I mean, that did so many, like, numbers afterwards. Like, when you get out of the hospital and you don't have CTE anymore, you're probably like, that is pretty cool. I made it. Uh, yeah. I, I would, Dude, yeah, in a I small town, so. I would find that girl and be like, let's do part two. <laughs> 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 you might come with a shovel, but come on. I, I think you know, I, like, when a person just goes viral for something and then their bio, they're like, yes, I'm this person. Yeah, 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 She's yeah. like, I got I'm hit the with shovel. the shovel. <laughs> She's just at home, deep on next to the shovel. I'm like, you know. <laughs> or, like, people always repeat the content yeah. that they went viral for, and she's just like, who Dude. else wants to hit me with something else now? Right. Yeah. I, uh, or have you seen it where they, like, release merch? I saw one where this – and, I mean, I get it. Like, dude, if, you, if you're from a small town, whatever, and this video goes, like, dumb viral, sure, milk it, right? Yeah. But I saw this one where this girl was, like, taking a selfie while driving, and she got in a car accident, and then she took the screenshot from that and put it on a shirt and was, like, selling it. But, like, dead like Capitalism, dead serious. baby. Dead serious. <laughs> I was like, who watched that viral video? And they're like, I'll support it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need something to wear She's to like, class tomorrow. killed yourself? That's, uh, that's, I'm signing up yeah. for that shit. I, I get it, though. But, yeah, it was just very funny. How do you guys feel about uh, the military when the guy when the guy comes? What if I stop there? <laughs> sharp, sharp turn. Yeah. No, no, no. How do you feel about military? You support them, guys? No, I'm saying the videos where they come home or they like surprise oh, somebody. That I love that. Yeah, those ones give me to cry every time. Every single time. There the ones one. where the son doesn't know and he's like in, in an art class. It walks. In. I love the yeah. What are you saying? Sorry to cut you off. I love oh, the one where they like dress them up as like the school mascot and they're like yeah oh shit like coming out for homecoming right. and then they're like. Dude, what if they just didn't get that memo and it's just like just a guy named Steven under there and he's just like some like fourteen year old he's like, What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, and like oh I thought this was gonna be a special moment. <laughs> yeah. No, I saw one where it was like it was at a baseball game. Yeah. And Most of them are. Yeah. What is that? Nobody's ever had a soccer it's a very game. White surprise. Sport. America's game. That's yeah. true. You know what I mean? I, don't, I guess. But it was like the family was at like home plate and they were like honoring, you know, whatever. And then they had like the the guy on like the Titantron or whatever and was just like wow. talking. And uh, then he came out of the bullpen. That gets so they were going. all like, oh, and I was like, oh, shit. And then he starts, 
He starts running like Marion Rivera coming in the yeah. ninth. And he doesn't even make it to the infield. He just drops to his knees and his family cows like, bro. Dude. Oddly enough, I, I guess, I don't know what this is about me, but the ones that have the dogs are the ones that get me the most. Because the, the dog dogs come out, they're just like, oh, no, no. Oh, <laughs> Like they're That's so very accurate for what a dog would be saying. They're so the like they're like crying and like yeah. <laughs> and yeah. like that. Those are the ones like the kids. Like yeah, cute. We get it. Like some of the kids, like, <laughs> some of the kids don't the even kids can't bark. All right? But so. also like some of the kids don't even realize. You know what I mean? Like the ones that come home and the and oh, the yeah. kid is like one and they're like like that kid doesn't know who you are. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah it's yeah. kind of sad. Like but yeah. like the dogs, dogs know. They remember. I'm they trying learn. to think what the most like random game that like besides baseball you could do that at that wouldn't Fucking make sense. Lacrosse. Yeah, I'm saying what's like <laughs> what's like the funniest one? This is like some kid playing dodgeball or something. <laughs> His dad just comes out and just blasts him. He pierces him in the face. <laughs> oh, I'm gosh. home, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> just like yeah, like just like playing like tether ball and yeah. like they just the, the troop steps in yeah. and just throws it he back. Grabs out. the thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've never even like seen a tether ball pole in person. Oh, it was a big thing. Dude, when I, I loved went to it. Camp. I love it in elementary school to play that. Really? Oh yeah. I mean, that, dude, if you beat like two people at recess and tether ball, you're like, I'm probably getting a hand job tonight. And <laughs> you never did. Well, at least me personally. But there was something about it because it was so public. You saw yourself getting your yeah. ass beat like publicly by so many people, and then it was, it was a momentum game. It was so, a showman sport, so they're sitting there and they're opening yeah. up, and they're just like, Fuck. but once you get a few rallies in a row, it's like NBA jams were like, he's on fire. It was like one of those where you're like, God. God like when you get a few going in a row it's kind of game over yeah, yeah. I, but I feel like if you're a lot taller than the person you're playing it's like a wrap yeah arm, arm length is big yeah. also also like you have to make sure you play with no ropes because there were people that would no. throw ropes. from the rope I'm Wait, saying what? like there are ropes but like there was like rules when I used to play back in the day is you had to throw from the ball you couldn't like because oh, people oh, would oh, use oh, the oh. rope or as fucking like, like, momentum had, yeah, oh okay yeah 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 I, I thought you had to just smack the ball yeah, but people can use the rope to fucking throw it. Oh. Would you get more throw off that? Definitely, dude. That thing slings back and then you just fucking wow. Oh, right, never right, hit right. one of these things in my life, so I don't really? Know. No? It was intense, dude. I'd go back to like art class and my like wrist would be a little sore. And I'd be like, I'm not I'm not drawing in lines today, all right. It's funny <laughs> how it's funny how the the gains that meant the most to us as like young children oh, did mean you, nothing. You now. zoom out, it's a stick and it's a rope and it's a ball. But yeah. kick Dude, kickball? That was my life. Kickball, kickball? was, I swear I could see to God. I you being really good at kickball. Dude. He was. He, but he, he <laughs> yeah. had contact, not power. There were some other kids that we knew, like, basically played with Jesus. fucking Timberland boots on. How did people get out? So, wait, let's say I'm on second base. How do you get that person, like, running to bed? Do you have to catch it? Yeah. The but same also, it's like, like baseball. You just have to fucking but peg him kick. with the ball. Oh, you peg the runner. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, yeah. that's what I was missing. I thought you had to catch. I'm not athletic. You, I mean, yeah, that's. Okay. Yeah, I was I was the last pick on a lot of things. But. I mean, you were a tetherball champion, apparently. Uh, yeah, I was playing against myself, but I, <laughs> <laughs> do you guys see me in that shit out there? It's like being uh, on the driving range and be like, imagine if that was a hole, though, you know? Yeah, exactly. You weren't like you didn't play like any sports. I played sports growing up. I just wasn't good at it. Gotcha. I was the only guy in my hometown who got uh, what's it called? Uh, I almost had a felony. Jesus Christ! Uh, uh, well, wait, yeah, no, let's and, start there. no, in basketball when they're like you, you're suspended. Technical. Technical. I got two technicals in the game. I was suspended for a game in a men's uh, high school league. Not even for the high school, but like just like an outside league. Gotcha. You weren't good enough to play for the school, no, so you no. played for a league outside of the school. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, exactly. I, I went more on like the uh, the Ron Artest route. Like some guy like boxed me out too much on a rebound, and I didn't like it. And then I was Elbows. like, you fucking pussy. And the ref's like, you can't cuss. And then I shoved the guy. And wow. Then I got kicked out for a week. But I still went to the game in full clothes and sat on the bench. <laughs> I was like, y'all are y'all are gonna know that I'm here. <laughs> just in case gonna, they felt bad, they were like, "All right, come oh, on." Yeah, man. just in case that guy sees me and he's like, "Oh shit, he's back." Yeah, just not good at sports uh, for the most part. We had a guy like that on our basketball team. His name was Dalton, and he was like not great, but mm -hmm. he was just like a psycho. Mm -hmm. And just be like, my dad was the coach when this is like in like seventh grade, and he, we would start the game, and then like two minutes in, he would call timeout and then put him on like their best player and just be like. Foul out. Yeah. <laughs> just, just foul Run it out up like real immediately quick. Yeah. and just like scare the shit out of this kid. Run it up, yeah. It's like, no, nah, I'm not that's strong not Dalton vibes, yeah. Strong Dalton vibes. Yeah, Dal yeah, I remember Dalton. He was he was a little crazy. Hit me in the face with a baseball once. He was uh Wow. Because he On was purpose? also uh no by accident. He was like he was on the same baseball team as me and I used to pitch and he was the catcher. And uh <laughs> why are you puns? looking at me like I don't that? know, because uh, you know, gayness. Um now he thinks you're gay. Crazy. Whatever. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I'm all about it. <laughs> no, so uh, just three dudes being like, we're, yeah, wait, till you, wait, we're yeah, no, no, for real. Wait till you for guys real, hear about dude. the dream I had. Oh, we'll get to that in a little bit. 
Okay. Um, but <laughs> I uh, pitched. Coming soon. I struck some kid out, and then I thought I was like, oh, cool. So I just kind of like looked away. And he was like, oh, oh. And he didn't no. like, and this was like, we were a little younger, so we're not like throwing it around or anything. So I struck the guy out and I like looked to the side and he threw the ball right back to the mound, hit me right in the temple. Oof. Oof. Which went out. Good throw. I mean, the kid could have pitched because he hit me pretty hard. Yeah. You had a cannon. What if that's how your coach ran out? He's like, all right, you're in. Yeah, you're, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> you sit the fuck down. Yeah, Joe's on the ground and he's spazzing a little bit. You're in. That was a good throw. Just Dra- do that, but over home plate. Drag him out. Joey never really talked about this, but he was definitely like a jock growing up. Because I was this probably guy? more like you. Like Dude, in sports, I, I, like mean, I played, I, I wasn't good, useless. I remember watching Joey. your videos growing up and be like, this guy's just like the alpha bro. <laughs> Not, not like real, because outside of this, outside of this room right here, he's pretty tame and chill. But like, he used to definitely Colin's be like. Colin's tame is so funny. He's <laughs> a human. He's pretty tame. He's like, domesticated. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's neutered. He, he won't, he won't, he's won't bite you. He won't bite you. He's happy. He likes you. He's neutered. He's fixed. Like, if I got here and you're like, yo, my boy Frank, he's tame. I'd be like, okay. Like, I, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> no, he, may ju- he may jump on you, so yeah. just take it. When it came to sports, he definitely was like alpha yeah. bro. Like, he yeah. was always like one of the captains. Like picked first, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, so definitely, you're spot on with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Real quick, I don't want to forget about this. Gay dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So like, I guess I'll I'll just go in. So I had a dream. There it is. I don't know why I'm telling you. I'll, yeah. I, he needs to know too. Uh-huh. Had a dream where, and now I'm not gay. This is already very <laughs> different from the MLK. I have a dream. So. Yeah. Very. <laughs> I had, was, I had a dream. I was like, this is going to be powerful. I have a dream. No. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm not gay in real life. But I guess in my dreams, dream I'm gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what they say? Dream thoughts are real thoughts, yeah. dude. Yeah. What do they say? Like drunk <laughs> words are sober thoughts? Yeah, like, yeah. Whatever you want to tell yourself, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gay dreams are, Well, you know. we were we were gay in the dream. There you go. And oh, me and you. Me and you. Very gay. Wait, so what? how? We're like in love? Well, I, I would hope, hope so. Yeah. I, I would hope I was your type. You I'd know? hope it's a strong relationship. Um, <laughs> and But the part of the dream that I wanted to talk about was... We announced that we were gay, and I want to know what you guys think about like how this would be for an announcement. Mm-hmm. We announced we were gay by we both at the same time posted a video, a sex tape of you and I. Same time on social media. Wait, do you remember the tape? I mean, pretty sexy, like, like on I, a GoPro or I'm not gonna, iPhone X. No, like talking? we recorded it, like oh, Joe, okay. like these cameras. No, <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that's <laughs> set up the like 4K. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you announce you're gay in 4K, you're a legend. That's yeah, all I'm I mean, gonna say. That's what I'm saying, and we posted it on social media as like our announcement. Do? Like uh, honestly, from what I remember, <laughs> pretty good. Well, guys, look, if you're ever feeling down on creativity one day, hey, <laughs> well, this would probably only be able to live on Twitter because you could scroll on Twitter and see some shit, but you can't on Instagram. I mean, whatever. Like, Instagram would take it down. But, like, yeah. I, don't, I didn't get hot. that part. I think I woke myself up because I was a little afraid. You know what I mean? Where you're just like, no. Wait, so who was who was doing what? I think we were both just, like, interplay. Like, we were both, like, what do they call them? Switch hitters? He's being nice. No, I... I how, much, how long were you watching our somebody's, sex tape? Somebody's I, I didn't, like, more sit... I, like, it was, like... It was a dream sex tape. It was sick. So it was, it was, like, was it, it sick? We did pretty well for ourselves. I gotta Good say. Good lighting, nighttime, daytime. Did you get that... Horrible angle of like balls. I gotta be honest, you're asking a lot of questions I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, uh, I need to it's know. a dream, you know. I don't remember a lot, yeah. but like I, I was kind of thinking, like, is that a good way to announce if you're gay? Like, just like straight up, like just post a sex tape. Um, honestly, no, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, but I feel like sometimes that's that's you know that's what happens. Actually, I recently found out that possibly mm, to be whatever my sources are questionable i heard that uh rod stewart mm-hmm. uh <laughs> he, so, he also had a dream yeah oh well he had a dream that became reality apparently Uh-oh. he had a, yeah so rod stewart famous guy maggie may great song um but anyway my dad was just here mm-hmm. and he was telling me a story he's like yeah you know i had a friend who used to work in a hospital in manhattan and rod stewart came in because he was like really sick and they had to pump his stomach and they pumped 15 cc's of sperm out of his stomach. Whoa. Which How much is a CC? So we don't I know. have no idea. We don't know. I don't know what a CC is, but I do know in Mario Kart, like 150 CCs, it's going down. <laughs> pretty, it's pretty fast. You know what I'm saying? I know that, but like, I don't know what a CC is. This is really cool, actually. Now you brought Mario in there. Also, 15 CCs, if it's anything close to an ounce, 15 ounces of fucking cup is crazy. What if it was like one of those, like, those, like, things that, like, makes you look youthful, though? You know, like if we found out, like the fountain That's of life is it, just sucking yeah. dick. Fifteen cc's. Bro, are they sure it's come? They're just like, oh, it's not almond milk. Like, is they're, this? They're doctors. I have uh, to. Assume. Oh, okay. Yeah, cc's is. He like tastes it. He's like, gotcha. pineapple. Yeah. 
<laughs> I gotcha. CCs is um, like a fluid measurement, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so okay. 15 CCs would be 0.5 fluid ounces. Half an ounce of jizz. That's a lot. Half an ounce, but a shot glass is 1.5, right? Yeah, Honestly, so. Not that much. Wait. He might have just been curious one morning and be like, I'm. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't. Sound- wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's yo. Half an ounce is not that much, right? Is it? Because think about it. A shot glass is one point five. One point five ounces. He's right. So a third of that. Wait, that can't be. That's enough. not. That's not much. Well, they can, but that, dude, wait, well, that, that's, that's I don't think that's why he was in the hospital, that's right? That's not a. Well, he. Fe- well, maybe. They had to pump his stomach. <laughs> maybe he meant fifty cc's. Because fifteen, that's not a lot. A fifty. My dad doesn't enunciate. He does not enunciate. <laughs> He does not. So 50 cc's, <laughs> that's more along the lines of, let's see, I got a conversion table right there. We go. 1.69 fluid ounce. Still not that much. No, a full shot of cum, dude? That's that's. That's, that's not enough to be like looking at your stomach and be like, hold on. <laughs> <Or> just, <laughs> yeah, that's not that's enough not to chia sign seed the, pudding? Like, what is sound that? the alarms. Chia seed pudding. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Lil' Kim was doing that on a nightly basis. Like, Didn't that, she have like a pound of cum in her or something like that? Yeah, I, think I made was, that up. The really? thing, no, no, no. The thing was like a they did x-rays. more. A pa- pound is a lot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't think you would need at least like fifty. That's like a Thanksgiving dinner almost. Maybe a hundred fifty cc's, dude. You could keep raising the. Yeah, you could be like anything. Uh, all I know is is that the dude had cum in him. That's okay. all I know. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with that, Joey? I just had a gay dream. Are you gonna put me down for that now too? No, I was in this dream and I was gay in it. So <laughs> I can speak on these things, Frank. You were. You were a little gay in it. Actually, a lot of gay in it. Apparently, oh, we were switching up. You said right. I think we were both just you know fl- exploring the space. That's got to be the best kind of uh, situation, I would assume. I to, uh, to 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 uh, we Switch. actually just talked to someone on other people's lives. There's another podcast that I do. Yeah, we, yeah. we interview people. Mm-hmm. We talked to someone who. Uh, hmm, this is coming out next season, so I probably shouldn't say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, has sex with. So this guy's husband has sex with him while he's asleep. Whoa! So the guy who's doing this having is the fucking. The top, I'll say, is asleep. But like, oh Wait. no, step bro, I'm asleep type of thing? Or like, asleep, asleep? <laughs> no, like, my eyes are closed and I am dreaming and I'm going to get this. I feel like you'd wake up. Well, no, yeah. He would. And apparently he like, jizzes. Well, that the I can get. Do to sleep or the other guy? No, sleep time sleep. jizz is a normal thing. People do that. They're... Well, the wet, wet dream. I've never yeah, had a wet dream what in my dream? Life. I've never had one, really? but like people, no. we've, we've discussed right. this. Get the NyQuil. Shut the lights off. <laughs> You just like slant, like you just wake up and you're like, did it again. Yeah. What is it like? Like waking up and you're you, like. Well, you have a dream and you're like, damn, I think I, I was having sex in a dream last night. And then you wake up and you're like, I did. oh shit. I do that yeah. with, pee. <laughs> I do that with pee. I almost pee my pants multiple times <laughs> in the night. Like I'll, I'll be like in my dream. I'll be like, yo, I'm dreaming about having to find a bathroom and then going to bathroom in the right. toilet. And then <laughs> sometimes in the toilet. And then I'll like wake up and be like, did I dribble a little bit? Like that's okay. like. I've had to do that. I remember one time I was younger, I was wearing a onesie. It was like Thanksgiving morning. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why I remember all that. I was on the top bunk of my bed. And uh, I was peeing into a urinal and then I woke up and I was and my dick was like, you know when your dick's got a, <laughs> you feel like your dick like opening? Like, yeah, the piss is coming. Man. Yeah. So I kind of felt that. And then I was just like, whoa. Like I had to like. You stopped it. Grab my shit. Yeah. Run to the bathroom. And I had to undo the whole fucking onesie. We don't all get that's, so lucky. Yeah, that's not great. That's like the worst thing you pee yourself and try to get the back zipper yeah, on. Dude, it was terrible. This one was actually in the front, so it was a little easier. The back zipper? Is it like a straight jacket onesie? What the hell? Yeah, dude, onesies, these, these onesies always... In the back. Yeah. What? Yeah. I've never... I've always had front ones. That... Okay, that makes so much more sense. Yeah. It's not as comfortable when you lay down on it. It's like a, like, like a dress. You know what I mean? Like you need someone to zip you up or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Rompers? Never did that. Unrelated? Do you ever wear a romper? I did as a joke. Okay. I, I How did was it. that? I feel like that's super annoying. It, was, it wasn't great. No? Well, what happened is like this. You have to get completely naked to like use yeah. the bathroom, don't you? Well, I, for, when I first started making videos, this was probably like one of my early, early YouTube videos. I probably deleted it, but this was like 2015, 2016. I, you know when rompers like came out, I was like, dudes are wearing rompers. Yeah. So you know that video in New York where it's like a girl walks around for 10 hours and gets harassed? I did that, but I was like, I'm a dude in Venice Beach, and today I'm going to get harassed. And a lot of them were like planted, but some of them were actually people being like, yo, you fucking bitch. Because like, <laughs> I walked past the Venice basketball courts, and they let me have it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But like, I did it, but it wasn't like a romper romper. It literally just looked like a dress. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, people were not nice. <laughs> it was not. Oh, yeah. But I was I, like, this will get views, and it did, it did okay for me. I'm trying. I, like, I don't know if all of those videos are like, like, I know that women get harassed and catcalled and shit, especially in the city, but like, 
those videos are so like extreme sometimes yeah. and i'm like is this real uh, i feel like she was just taking laps around a construction site just like back and forth back and forth back and forth. I, think, I think i get that because like i've walked past a construction site and like i feel i feel like dudes are looking at me and i'm just like Maybe I'm just like narcissistic, but I was like, I don't like this. I mean, yeah. I yeah, it's it's unfortunately, I would say like for girls, it's probably way more real. Yeah, like if like know, for guys, it's probably planted. But even I remember when we were younger, like jokingly, me and one of our our friends like held hands and walked down the street, and like the first car that passed just started screaming homophobic slurs. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, you don't remember that? Was it me? No, it was me and Chris. The fuck is Chris? Brutas. Oh, okay. There's his full sense. name. Yeah. <laughs> Google him. <laughs> and uh, and fucking people were just like screaming at us. So like I'm sure yeah. uh, it, for fucking girls. It was the early 2000s. It was big time early 2000s. Yeah. That people were letting them nice. rip, letting them look, just absolutely fly. Yeah, people are, God, it's fucking crazy to think about what was like accepted back then. I just want to know what girl ever leaned into it. Like, hey, like, nice tits. And she's like, oh, thank you very much. I've been working very hard on school. Yeah, has that, yeah like has, <laughs> has it, it ever, ever worked? I don't know. But you've got to know if you're walking once. around with big fat boobs, it's got to be like, oh, God, I don't want to be out here anymore. That's like, yeah. that's like crazy to think about. Like, I don't want to walk around because some dude's going to be like, yo. I literally know a girl who literally. My dog got dog called one, one morning. I was walking my dog and a guy in a white van. Bro, I was like legitimately scared for a second. I was like, yo, this dude's going to fucking like, yeah. steal my dog mm -hmm. and like fuck me. But he, I was like right here too, not far from my apartment. <laughs> it was real. I thought it was gonna be a dog napping and a ass pole mm -hmm. ripping. But he pulled up in a white van and he was like hanging out and he goes, "Yo!" And I was like, "No." And then I just look. I'm like, "Hey!" And he goes, "Golden Doodle." And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Hot commodity. I, I was will like, say "Yeah." That. I was like, "Yeah, Golden Doodle." And then he's like, "Nice." And I was like, "Fuck!" And so and he's just standing there. I was like, "Yeah." So he's like, "Does he need a mate?" Huh? And I was like, Oh, this guy wants to watch dogs fuck. That's well, what it is. Yeah, and He's I was a breeder? Like, well, that's gotta, be what, that's gotta be what it is. Yeah, open with that. Hi, I'm a breeder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't be like, yo, your dog trying to fuck? Yo, like, go and are brutal, you, huh? Or do you have a puppy? Yeah. But he was like asking me if my dog needs a mate, and I was like, bro, no. Did you ask your dog? No, I didn't. I kind of just made that decision. He's a horny honestly. dog, so he might have been. He's not that horny. He doesn't really fuck down. that way. Yo, my dog gets fucking disrespected at the dog parks. Really? I'm like this close to fucking Why? Some dogs. I love dogs and shit, but if you try to fuck my dog... Yo, one time, two dogs tried to Eiffel Tower my dog, and I was about to lose it. I take that as a sign of respect. I mean, you got a good-looking... Like, dogs want to, like... But, it, they do but a Golden Doodle's got some commodity to it. So if I was a dog at a dog park and I saw a Golden Doodle, I'm going to shoot my shot. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a sign of respect. Dogs do it to, yeah. like, prove dominance. So, like, if you're the best fucking like, most dominant-looking dog there and dogs just want to fuck your teeth out and your yeah. ears and shit. Yeah, like, but I think you're the dominant one is the one not getting fucked. Do we, are we familiar they with the animal well, kingdom? But they want to prove dominance. So, like, in that moment, they're like, I need to fuck that to be better. Oh, to be the... You got to take out the mob boss. <laughs> exactly. You got to take out... You got to shoot for, for the stars. Yeah, I guess. But there was one time a dog, like, climbed on the back of my dog and I was, like, walking over and another one climbed onto the front and I was like, yo, you're not about to face fuck my dog. Yeah, what kind of dog was the other one? I don't really remember. One of them was just, like, this, like, black and white, like... I don't even know like what breed it was. The other one was like a small dog, and I was like, if I had to, I would small send dogs this be dog. going to the moon. They they really shoot oh, their yeah. shot. They like, oh, go up to the yeah. biggest dog there, and you're like, I don't know if you know how physics works. Yeah, it's like, you this... can't even reach that asshole, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but they, they like the challenge, man. I mean, but would you rather have all the attention on your dog or have like a Yorkie and people don't even bat an eye on it? Yeah. I'd rather have a big dog that everyone wants to just nail. Yeah. Because the little dogs, like, no one, like, they're cute, but then, like, when it comes to it, like, you need to protect them. You know what I mean? Like, if my dog, if I have a little Yorkie or a Chihuahua or something, and they start going after a big dog, like, I, I need to stick up for that dog now. You know what I mean? Like, no. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be put in that situation and have to fight a dog for my dumb dog, you know? Well, they, like, split up dog parks now. So they have, like, if you have a small dog, there's, wow. like, one area for them, and then they have, like, a regular area. Or if you got a small dog who's just, like, not afraid to, like, get fucked by a big one, then you could put him in there. But Damn. Do you feel cooler than the people in the small dog park? Like, do you, do you like, walk past that and be like, scoff, don't even look at me? <laughs> yeah, if you got a tiny dog. I also, like, any dog that you could fit in, like, your purse, I'm like, come on. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't want a small dog at all. I want something that's going to, like, just, like, the hummer of dogs. Something you, know? you like, can leave a ballet it. and they'll just handle it. Exactly. Yeah. People see the dog and they're like, this guy's small dick, you know? 
<laughs> is that the equivalent? It's like a Hummer, you know. There you go. I don't think someone goes, oh my God, that guy's got a big dog. He's compensating for something. <laughs> Absolutely. You ever see people that have like I those giant like Rottweilers or pit bulls? They stand and their fucking leash is a chain like in between their legs. Some big dogs don't make sense. Like the Greyhound. What are, the, what, what are they called? Whippets? The, Whippets? Mm. I, I, that's, I that's, that's something right. else. That's something else. No, uh, yeah, I'm on a lot of whippets right now. Anyways, <laughs> my recent search history is snapback beanies. Whippets, you guys want to try them or no? I'm, I'm looking up snapback beanies and whippets, so. No, it's a, uh, it's the, the racing dogs. Are Bro, they it's greyhounds? called a whippet. Dude, you guys are making me feel like a drug dealer. They're actually called whippets. Oh, what But they're the big fu- dogs. Oh, those dogs like jump like 20 feet in the air Yeah, they're big dogs, but also like you, nobody's going to see that dog and be like, he's back and he... Not the dog. The yeah, owner, yeah, yeah, yeah. So or it, even like a fucking, like a Great Dane. Those are like basically t- very, like seven foot skinny men walking around. Well, I, I'm talking more like the St. Bernards or Mastiffs or Rottweilers. Yeah, Dude. Mastiffs. What was crazy. that movie with the St. Bernard? Beethoven. Bang. A big ass dog. It's a crazy name for a dog, to be honest. That was a Beethoven? Name. I heard those dogs live like eight years, though, which is like when around the time, like I think yeah. it takes like four years to like really love but their dog. Doesn't that make sense? Because like Hummers get eight miles to the gallon. <laughs> so does that not equate? <laughs> the bigger your dog is, the less time it has. I, I think so. Yeah. But pugs are sad. I mean, like I have friends with pugs, and they have to like give you a warning before you meet it. You know how you're like, oh, he's tame. Pugs are just like. <laughs> He has a lazy eye. Yeah. His breathing sounds like a Suzuki that's loading in a parking lot. That's exactly what and it is. And his tongue's out. He's not having a stroke. That means he likes you. It's like, yeah. I don't want to have a dog where I have to preempt it. And yeah. I know there's people listening that have pugs. And I'm in like, but, but nobody loves a dog more than a pug owner, I think. Probably because yeah, they're it's like, like sympathy though. It's it like they it. love it because yeah, it needs it. It's a walking it. Sarah McLaughlin commercial. You're exactly. like, I need to love this yeah. thing. Exactly. Or it's also at least like a trophy. It's like, look, I adopted this fucking dog that's like mostly broken and it's like good for you oh my god so much respect which is like it's crazy you know some people don't even want to have children anymore because of global warming they're like oh the earth's gonna be dead in like 20 years or something but people are still adopting like pugs like bro we're these dogs like are born with sleep apnea and they could like and their heart is their heart rate's 130 like forever don't they say like their nose is inside out or something like their face (laughs) is inside out and they can't fucking (laughs) what happened to evolution like (laughs) along the way things are supposed to get better like you're reversing have you seen like I, i remember i recently saw that was like oh this was a pug in like 1920 and it looked just like a different dog it was a completely different dog and we like bred it to the point where it it basically can't live on its own it's it's like a walking issue it's too much yeah i don't my my this girl i'm really cool with she has a dog a pug and it it, like when sometimes she leaves a room the dog is a jump on the couch and it never makes it (laughs) (laughs) and i can't laugh but oh my god it's like one of those laughs but you also help you're like oh fuck yeah i got you yeah it's like oh god i feel bad just just certain like breeds of also like people and i don't know why these are so expensive but like the hairless cats yeah i kind of think that's a personality i think they're cool i have to admit i wouldn't get one i like cats i like cats i wouldn't get one (laughs) but i I like cats i do think they're pretty cool i will say i I have a i have a kitten right now and he sheds a lot so i see the 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 the, uh, the cat guy behind it yeah all by the way cats I feel nothing for cats. Oh, I love cats. Like zero. Yeah, I'm like I can too. see a cat and be like, oh, he's he's cute. I'm also allergic, but that's not the yeah. point. I just don't like how they're just like they're so pissy. Dude, not mine. He's like a little puppy. I like come like I open the door that's and he cool, runs then. to me. He literally plays fetch. I'll throw something and I'll bring it back to me. Yeah, it's how you treat them. Yeah, if you treat this thing like it's you you don't like it, like it's gonna fucking yeah. hate you too. I just feel like I'm being like judged. Like whenever I would go to Impy's house, like they would just like hide around and I'd be like getting something out of the fridge and then it'd be on top of the fridge looking at me like, Oh, you're gonna drink that? And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, fuck off. Th- there, there's some good and bad cats, but it's like when they're good, they're great. But I, my parents have two cats. One of them's really nice and one of them's what you're talking about. Just yeah. insane. Yeah, dude, I had a cat growing up, and I had a dream the other night Uh-oh. that a cat okay. jumped at Different not dream. a, a Different gay dream. cat. <laughs> Me and a gay cat. No, I had a dream that a cat jumped at my face, yeah. and, I, and I went like this. Bro, cats can get you. That's how once, you like, defended my, yourself, like that. That's I just showed him in just your like, punched, like an old timey like, Irishman. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, the, <laughs> the Notre Dame mascot. Come just, here, see? literally like that. Scare the fuck out of me. No, they can get... The cats will get you. My, remember my cat growing up? She fucking clawed my forearms once, and I, like, legit thought I was going to die. I was yeah, like, the, this is it. Like, yeah, this'll, this don't is fuck me up. I usually, I usually have cuts and scars from, from old boy. But, his, yeah. his old cat used to... Uh, his grandmother used to live in their house, yeah. mm-hmm. and the cat would use the grandmother's legs as a scratching post. <laughs> Yeah, it was fuck. I've told the story quite a bit, but my yeah. grandmother had oh, really poor no. circulation in her legs. Very poor. So she could tell that her legs were getting just clawed to shreds. 
Oh my God! Below the poverty line legs, <laughs> yeah. and she was, and they were scratching them up, and, and like she had no idea, no clue. And then she would have to constantly go to like get her legs checked out. Oh my God! I mean, you should just put. I mean, her legs looked like olive loaf. They were porn. <sighs> they were pouring peroxide all over that woman. It was crazy. Yeah. Oh no. But hey, it's <laughs> yeah. That's not great. Well, they're both gone now. So uh, thank you. <laughs> 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 Fuck. It's not really a peaceful way to get out of that story. Yeah. Like, you know, can I, I buy just, her some new legs? I just want to wrap that up with a bow and just kind of like. Yeah, that's know. why I appreciate that. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, yeah that's no problem. My 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 cat went. It was sad. We had to put her down. But Damn. you know, you, you lose the good ones, I guess. Right? Only the good die young, as they say. How old was your cat? Nine, I think. Ten? No, nine. How good old do number. cats get? Cats can be like fourteen. That's a lot. Yeah, they might top out at fourteen. But yeah, they'll, they'll give you a solid eight to ten, no problem. Or like people, people who get like turtles. Like turtles live like they outlive. Dude, people don't get turtles. They just get gifted a turtle. They're like, hey, my dad had this, and then he passed away. Now this is your turtle, yep. and now this is your turtle. Yo, gifting animals is fucking crazy. Yeah, that's like yeah, that's like gifting cars. It's like that, gifting a child. That like, is a whole yeah. like conversation that needs to. Well, happen. Do think about how many people got dogs during the pandemic, and then now the world's open, and they're like, well, I want to go get hammered on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I have to go to work now. So yeah. what, what the fuck are, is going what on? What up, right? Yeah, it's fucking, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't understand. Can you imagine getting a fucking turtle? One of my friends, Greg. Uh, his name's Greg? He tried to gift his brother a cat. Uh, and like, was running around the city, like trying to get the specific cat. He's like, oh, it's so cute. The whole time I'm telling him, like, dude, this isn't a good idea. Yeah. Like, this is not how people get pets. No, no, no. And then he You want to like connect with it first. Yeah, or like, at least warn someone, like, hey, I'm about to sign you up for fucking... 12 years minimum right. of responsibility here. Mm -hmm. and, and, and turtles are one of those animals that like, whatever like- No, this was a cat, it wasn't I know, but what I'm saying is like, turtles in particular, like whatever they're living in, they'll grow to. So like, if you just like let them have this room, they'll become the size of a fucking dog, you know? And, and then Damn. it becomes like an issue and shit like that. Is that but, true? Yeah, my brother, my what brother- What does a turtle eat? Lettuce. Lettuce, carrots, yeah. bugs. Bugs, maybe. I don't, I don't know. know if it's catching bugs. I don't know if it's catching them, but but uh, my brother had a had a turtle that they just had to give away because it became too like it became too big. They couldn't fucking keep it anymore. And like they got it, I swear to God, they got it, and it was the size of like a half dollar. And then they had to give it away, and it was like this fucking big. Those things grow, man. It's such a weird. Yeah, they're not like fun. Pet a turtle, and they no. shady smell like fucking shit. I, mean, I can see that. You know, they just smell like piss and shit. They're like slimy. Slimy things. They're not really slimy though. They're kind of dry. I pictured like desert tortoises. Those are the ones that just chill in the backyard. Oh yeah. What are their thoughts like every day? Just fuck. Just kill, yeah. <laughs> just kill me, please. <laughs> Them and like sloths. Like any animal that moves really slow, I feel like they're not having a good yeah. time. Does their brain think slow? It's got to. Yeah. I would imagine. What if it was? To. What if it was really fast? Sloths are like fuck, 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 fuck. Does anything kill sloths? Well, sloths. Yeah, they have plenty of predators. Yeah, but like tree they branches. Use, they, you know? That's why they have one a slip. Sharp those sharp ass fucking claws. They like use yeah. those to like fight off predators. And also, shit like this is a dumb question, but sloths have to have sex to make more sloths. How do they fuck? I think it's just like slow. One like, of those but just like a good yeah. pump, like R and B type fuck. Just yeah. like they don't need much. They're just making like, love. Yeah. It like by the time it gets down, you know, like the, the other sloth, the girl God, sloth. I just imagine goes a down. sloth like ghosting another girl, and he's like, "Fuck you, bitch!" And then the slowest <laughs> walk away ever. Like, I can see you still. <laughs> Also, like, you know, there's a lot of animals that you just assume, like, you can't really picture fucking, probably because... I think all animals. Like, I'm like, goldfish? Well, like, well yes, they all just be do. clapping it up? I don't know if they fuck as much as it's just, like, they shoot the sperm across at each other. No, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Like Spider-Man? Yeah. Okay. I saw, there was, I remember in Jackass, they, they had fish come. And, like, they were just, like, it just, like, shoots out. And then, like, the girlfish, like, swims by. And, like, just, like, opens, opens up, like... Opens her you shit. Know, and Damn. just takes it. But you know how you got hit with a baseball? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think goldfish get hit with a load? Steven! <laughs> what the Sorry. fuck? Sorry. Well, I'm wondering, like, you know how they say, like, it sloths will, like, slowly poop for, like, a day? And, I like, did not know they say it. Why do you, why'd you say <laughs> you know that? Like, say it's it. not, yeah. I know this. You know what people be saying. They, you know? like, they, like, descend the, I saw this thing. I might be wrong, but I don't care. I'm going to say it like I'm right. They, like, yeah. descend the tree once a week to poop, and then they go right back up, and it, like, slowly comes out of them. Do you think it's like that for, like... Tom? Wait, wait, wait. Um, we, can, <laughs> full circle, babe. Right back one, to One second. They are climbing the tree as they're shitting? No, they're climbing down. They come down off the tree like once a week to poop and they go back up. Sloths move so slow that they have like moss in their hair. 
or fur, whatever it is. They have moss. Where yeah, they, like where moss. They, where are they, bro? They're <laughs> in Australia. Tre- I don't even trees. think they know. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> they're in trees, dude. That's like, gotta be the easiest animal to capture for the zoo. Yeah. All the other animals like are oh, fuck you. I'm a tiger. Get out of here. Leave me alone. So lots are like, please. <laughs> They're in a car. Probably. They're like, "Am I time traveling right now?" It's like we're literally just gonna walk around you and yeah. pick you up by the yeah. Head. But imagine a sloth being in a car. They're doing like twenty five miles per hour, and the guy's like, "Is this a test?" Yeah. They, <laughs> apparently, they move so slow that like their fucking like moss grows on them and shit like that, and like they poop like once a week because they just it's so slow. Like, do you think that's how they come? Like, it's just like slowly, super, just slowly. like just like once a week they shit coming out. All right, guys, get a get a sloth on the podcast. Yeah, how like, do you shit? <laughs> how much how much do you think it is to get a sloth? Not a, not nearly as much. I've as looked up getting a camel before. It's only like twelve hundred bucks. Really? You can There's it. some animals that are exotic as fuck for very cheap. I would love to get a camel. Not you're not like you can't just like get it and like have it, but you get it, you rent it for the day. It's like twelve hundred bucks. And oh, for the day, that's pricey. Day. Yeah, no, it is. It's like you could rent a Lambo for that much. Yeah, but you could also ride a fucking camel, baby. Okay. Who's getting more looks? A guy in a Lambo or a guy in a camel? Dude. Can you imagine just walking down the street like, yo, this guy in a fucking camel right now? What the fuck is this guy doing? I'm trying to look up getting a sloth right now because it might be a lot easier. It sucks that we live in New York City because there's no, like, there's probably it's probably very limited. You could, we could probably get, like, birds and shit, but I don't know. Like, a bird? Birds aren't that cool. They're not cool at all. No, yeah. fuck birds. They're flying rats. I hate them all. No, I would like, <laughs> no, I would like to see like a fucking eagle or some shit. Something that could like eat like, there you, a, go. like a, <laughs> you would, but then you like see an eagle up close and you're like, you're a crazy person. Bro, eagles are, I've seen eagles fairly like, not like super close like this, but like I've seen eagles fly by. They're fucking terrifying. Because they're just like. Yeah, they're fierce. Fuck. Yes. At like fucking. That's um, why they're the, the American bird. Uh. <laughs> The uh, at like footballs and game, games and shit where they have like a bird that just like flies around the crowd and this guy just like on the fifty yard line. Yeah, like, dude, nobody loves to talk about birds more than those guys. I saw a guy one of those recently. He was just doing a seminar in front of us a hotel. And he had, he, a, he had a falcon. Bird. He had a falcon in front of a hotel. A falcon? But, it was a, but it was a part of like the on the ho- the hotel's itinerary as a resort, and they're like, oh, the falcon guy is at noon. I was like, prime spot. <laughs> Perfect. We Not can make, missing the falcon. Make it after no, brunch. Lunch, but yeah. I remember, like, he had a full ass crowd, and he had a falcon right here, and he's like, the way he's talking, he's like talking in third person, like she would be flying right now, but she had a long night. I'm like, what does that mean? She got hammered last night. Got fucking nailed. What's going on, dude? What do like, you mean? Do they need to, like, she's, stop? she's in Atlanta. What are you talking about? Falcons, comedy. Anyways, nailed them. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, but this, you, yeah, they, they hold them like this, and you're like, this is. I would not want it, and they have to wear that giant ass fucking glove. Oh, dude, their claws yeah. are sharp. Bro. Fucking take her arm off, bro. I see by me in Jersey. I see fucking crazy birds. All- dude, the other day, sorry, I just got really excited. Thank you for saying this. Better be a flamingo or something. No, a fucking vulture was like four feet above my head. Wow. I'm walking around our neighborhood. <laughs> Maybe you smelled dead. No, dude, I'm walking around <laughs> our neighborhood, and I see something in the tree, and I'm like. What the fuck is that? And it's a dead squirrel. Oh, no. Like over a branch. You know, just like laying. And then I'm like, what the fuck? And then I look above that, like four branches up, and there's a vulture just fucking hands in pockets. I assume that's how they stand. Or like behind them, just like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking. Did ready. you wait around? I would have definitely waited around for I that. I took a picture of it because I was so impressed. But like, yeah. dude, those, vultures are fucking. They have like six foot wingspans and shit like that. Like, they're just in Jersey? Just in Jersey. That's crazy. Just living the dream down there. Did you wait? No, I was with my daughter. I was afraid they were going to fucking take her. That would have been cool. Yo, no. there was a video I saw one time. I'm like, <laughs> I know. I no. no. Well, yeah. It would have been cool. It would have been cool because this is what happened cool in the video story, I saw. Cool story, yeah. Cool story, bad, yeah. like, if it, it actually It would get a lot of cl- clicks on the GoFundMe. Like, lost my daughter to a falcon. Bingo, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you probably raised a good amount the of money. The dingo ate the baby was in a textbook, and she got some money. I'm pretty sure I can yeah. get some money, yeah, too. Yeah, you know, the IP. You own the IP, and you yeah. own it forever. Um, it's my brand. I saw a video uh, of, like, a like a little girl like running in a field and like the mom was like filming or whatever and then a fucking hawk comes down and just like oh, grabs no. her by the hood oh yeah and like picks her up a little bit and she got like two feet off the ground and just yeah. let her go and just fucking yeah, you know, the bird was like oh shit hold on this is not like, this is not a mouse it's like this is the heaviest pigeon ever <laughs> Yeah, no, that would be fucking I would not like vultures I don't think you have to worry about because they only eat like things that are like super dead but like the birds that's that like just like lazy. they pick up like small yeah. deer like hawks and shit like that don't De- they what yeah they can pick up deer Dude. Yeah, snakes get grabbed a lot too, but they're they're so perfect to grab because they just connect with the, yeah. the cloth, and then there's like I asked for this. Then you gotta just let them have them. Well, I kind of got a dip on time. Because yeah, how long do you guys record? No, for? we're good. No, we, we gotta go wrap it like up right now. Two and a half hours at least. Hell yeah! Hell no, yeah. we're wrapping up right now. Bring the Vulcan in right now. Yeah. <laughs>
the, the vulture in right now. Vulcan? That's what am I talking about? <laughs> All right. Live long and prosper. The Vulcan. Uh, so, yeah, where, where can they find you? What's your Oh, socials? man. Trevor Wallace on all that. Listen to Stiff Socks if you want, man. But, yeah, just be making YouTube videos, you know? Yeah. And, uh, we out here making videos and just doing a podcast. And I do stand-up. I'm, I'm going to be in Jersey. going to be in New Brunswick. hey oh, November 4th through the 6th, baby. Let's do New it. New Brunny. Um, yeah, but I got a bunch of store dates coming up if you want to check that out. Trevor Wallace Comedy. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Frank, you want to plug your shit? Yeah, I'm not doing stand-up. Uh, I'm not that. I'm not funny. Uh, <laughs> but uh, F Alvarez 8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram, and then check out the Patreon, patreoncom slash yard. Yeah, and you guys can uh, follow the show at the Basement Yard on uh, TikTok and Instagram, and uh, the Patreon, patreoncom slash yard And we will see you guys next time. Hell yeah. <laughs>